Madam Chair. I thank the ranking member as well. I thank the witness for appearing today. And I'd like to also thank Ms. Wagner. She initially called to my attention this CDBGDR program, the possibility of getting something done, and she and I have worked together to try to perfect it to the extent that it can be perfected, so I'm grateful to her. I'm also grateful to the staffs for working on this. While she and I presented concepts, the staff actually worked together to make sure that our ideals were achieved to the extent that they can be. So let's just talk for just a moment about the time that you mentioned earlier uh, with the CDBGDR disaster relief for edification purposes for persons who may be listening and not privy to information about this. This program is something that comes into being after we've had a disaster and we currently reinvent the wheel each and every time. We don't always have the institutional knowledge available to us. People move on and we sometimes have to not only reinvent the wheel, we have to reinvent some of the various components. Uh, it would be a good thing, in my opinion, to codify this program. Can you speak briefly to the timeline and how the timeline could be benefited by codification? Uh, yes, uh, there's no question that particularly on, on early on uh, after a disaster, uh, some of the coordination that has to occur between small business, uh, FEMA, and, and HUD uh, is duplicative. And uh, there are ways that we can streamline that process. And then uh, some of the basic things that have to be done in order to get the grant uh, money out uh, is absolutely the same thing over and over again. And and that's what I meant when I said, you know, if, if we can get those things codified, we can start out on second base uh, on our way home rather than having to go completely around the whole thing. Uh, so what you're talking about makes 100% sense. And I'm 100% in agreement with it. And we're going to be continuing to work uh, with your group to make sure it gets done. Thank you for uh, the announcement of support. Let's move to HR 123, which is the FHA Additional Credit Pilot Program. Um, there are many people who are first time home buyers who have thin credit, but they do pay utilities, light bill, gas bill, water bill, phone bill, and they do this religiously. They're not late, but these things are not always scored. It can be done on an individual case by case basis. Uh, this is important not only to the person who may be able to purchase a home, but it's also important to the rest of us because when that home is purchased, washers and dryers and curtains and other things are purchased that will impact the economy. I'm hopeful that you'll be able to support FHA additional credit pilot program. Doesn't mean that other credit uh, options that are scored will cease to be scored. This is not um, a, a substitute, it's in addition to. Uh, would you comment please on this uh, program and the possibility of your supporting it? Well, uh, there's no question that some people come with a, a very thin credit record and they're placed at a very significant disadvantage. And uh, you know, I was recently looking at a study in which uh, they looked at uh, how a person paid their rent and how often uh, you know, they paid on time, how often they paid late, and they factor that into uh, the credit rating. And in, in most cases, it actually improved their credit score and made it better. So we're doing some uh, more in-depth looking at that. The, the commissioner, FHA commissioner, and I have been talking about this alternative credit scores uh, again, recognizing that it has to be done a responsible way because you remember before the housing crisis, you know, people were going through some things that weren't quite legitimate and put a lot of people into houses that they could not afford. And as a result of that, they lost the house, they lost their credit, and they lost their future opportunities. We certainly don't want to get into that situation. So we will study it carefully, but I'm very open to that uh, alternative credit, and uh, I appreciate 
you're working on that. I thank you and uh, look forward to our continued work to bring these two programs to fruition. Thank you, thank you, Madam Chair. The gentleman from Colorado, 